Clouds. What's going on, Spartans? King here, bringing another day in the life with King. We're going to start off here. Let's collect some of this loot. And let me show you my defenses. That's Global Heritage Guy. And I'm going to have to attack him very soon. I promise you I'm going to wreck his base. I might even do a Barch just to show him that he shouldn't mess with me. But you can see here, Beaver attacked me. And he is one of my guys I want to revenge because I can attack him back. So we're going to get to doing that. Let's go ahead and attack. Let's actually show the replay first of my defense where Beaver won. He only won like 12,000 of each. And he used the loons, like Belinians. And I think he only got like... 123 dark with 12,000 gold and elixir each. It's so terrible. He got like nothing on my base. And the funny thing was is that he only got 10 trophies. So I'm guessing he was just pushing. He has to be because I cannot imagine anyone would attack for 12,000 of each. But whatever. Let's see how he does it. He does attack with balloons as I said. And he's doing it very cautiously. He's being very strategized in his placement of balloons. He's not the best at it as you saw. He should have taken out that air deal a lot faster than he did the first time. And right here you can see my max level Tesla just ripping it up and boom it's dead. But the clan castles come out to save the day. It's going to protect that air D right there and take those balloons out. Let's see how far he gets. I think he's actually going to do all right here. But you're going to see how well my defense works. You can see there, most people don't notice this. If you look at my base carefully, it is a circular base. So it does trick everyone. The walls throw you off and there's a lot of holes so you don't know where bombs are. But the real trick is that... Every defense is in a giant oval. You cannot attack this base of hogs or loons without, and you will, I mean, you can. You may win with loons if you're careful, but you're not going to get the town hall with Blinions because these troops just go in a circle around the base and then they basically will die if you use minions against the Infernos because defensive attacking units are not going to be able to get through those double walls and they're not going to focus on that multi target Inferno. So that's the basis of that design. And then I've got a bunch of bombs down that destroy hogs. So as you know, with the nerf, hogs are so weak. He's had to drop his heroes. He's at 24%. All he has is heroes and minions left, I think, and his clan castle, which he dropped to the left side up there on the top, and he's letting them go to work. He did a bad placement of that. I would have dropped it further in the corner and just see what happened, but they did work out for him. They did go to that army camp, take that out. He is at 35% now almost, so he's doing all right. His, as you can see, though, his troops aren't going anywhere near those infernos or town hall, so I'm pretty safe there. I hope you guys do like this base. It was a funny design I just made randomly. It has really no principal basis. It's not going to keep you alive in high masters or anything like that. But I am in masters 2 and I'm doing pretty decent. So not a big deal. And this actually in this video on masters 3. I just got masters 2 after the video is done. And I'm at like 2800 right now. So not really trying to push. Just barching and taking loot. And I'm winning if I can. So obviously I do wait for troops to be built and heroes. So I guess I'm not farming hardcore but i'm also not pushing hardcore either his king is down his heroes are dead and he's got a couple minions left that are just out of range right there's one minion on that gold storage out of range it's gonna take that and then it's gonna be over for him but yeah most of those storages are actually protected they're just in range of my inferno also so you got to be careful of that if you are going with goblins you're not going to steal it as you see here barely won anything got 10 trophies whatever take it and go but now you messed up because as you know i've been all P.E.K.K.A. attacking like crazy. As it, You guys, if you haven't seen all my P.E.K.K.A. attacks, go watch the all P.E.K.K.A. raids I did in my last video. They were super, super epic. You need to go check that out immediately. And put a like on there. Throw a comment. Whatever you want to do. Definitely a great video. Now, let's see here. Here's my attack. And I'm going to go ham on him. I mean, look at his base. He's a Town Hall 9. And you t attacked me? That was your number one mistake. But, of course, if you're Town Hall 9 this high, you have to attack somebody. Unfortunately, I do revenge occasionally. I wall broke into that middle compartment that's at the bottom there. And I let two of the P.E.K.K.A.s basically clean up crew and walk around the sides. He's decided to rejoin the rest of the guys and walk into the center, which is really cool. It's a good thing. And I dropped a few P.E.K.K.A.s here. I am putting the jump spell down to let them know where they should go. They, unfortunately, already were targeting another thing. But they're going to walk right toward it afterward, as you can see right there. And they're jumping for the middle. I did have a dragon in my clan castle and some archers, which I did not know about. His clan castle is activated. Let's rage my guys in the center. Drop the freeze. Let's drop these heroes. Let them get in there and help out, hopefully. 
Weird thing, the jump spell ran out right there as the king was about to jump, so he stopped and turned around. And now he's going to be the meat shield for my queen, which is even better. Now I'm going to drop another freeze for two reasons. My pegas take forever to kill those clan castle troops, so I need to make sure they all die. I also want to freeze that witch before she can uh, respawn more skeletons and make my day hell. Now the pegas have plenty of strength left. They're rocking and rolling. They're walking through the center of this base like it's theirs. And that dragon is just helping out with some air support. Pretty cool. King's walking in the circle as you see here. He is just going to town. Nothing's really injured him that much. Even though he has been nerfed heavily in the update. By the way, look at my queen. She's super low on health and I was super patient on I was super proud of myself for that actually. I was so patient on using her ability. I would have normally used her ability, but I noticed that she only was going to take one more hit before the defense went down. So I let it go, took the risk. And so she still has that hero ability go invisible and heal. Now I'm going to freeze that Tesla because that P.E.K.K.A. was in range of it and getting injured. And let's concentrate over here on the right. You can see my guys are going to town. Got one archer out of range. Concentrate on that elixir storage. I'll show you in a second here. And wow, the P.E.K.K.A.s have all spread out quite a bit. The king's on the outside with the queen. She is taking stuff out. Let's hope they can rock it and roll here and take out the rest. I'm really using every second of this rate I can. And my P.E.K.K.A.s are going to go right for that. Tesla now, look at that, they're all converging, got three of them rolling at it, and the king and queen, it is over for him, he is not going to stay a chance, 99%, and there's one building left, and it's that storage I showed you the archer working on, and who's going to get it, is it going to be a P.E.K.K.A. or the queen, I think the queen's going to clutch it here guys, I don't think the P.E.K.K.A. has time, and it is the queen, I took 69,000 gold back from him, 125,000 elixir, and 1,200 dark, I took 33 trophies, which is what he really wanted though, and so I took three times what he stole from me, so that's all I got to say about that. Do not attack me for trophies. I will take your trophies and go away with them. You're you guys have been requesting quite a bit, though, that you want to see me use no heroes and no spells for barching. And I've been trying to. Now, I've been doing something a little different. I've been doing go barch. Maybe I'll show you this pecker right. You know what? Nah, we'll save that one. You guys will see that another time. We're not going to show this. I'll just back out. <laughs> anyway. You guys have been requesting to see Barching without Heroes and Spells. Now, it's super hard to do up in Masters 2, Masters 3, guys. It's almost impossible. So, you got to go ahead and wait for me to drop down. And maybe I'll drop down a week or two here. And show you guys how to Barch without Spells or Heroes. Because I can do it on pretty high level bases, but max out bases, it's, it's almost impossible. It's not impossible, it's just really rare. You're going to be really patient. And I don't have a lot of time to search anymore. So, I attack pretty much any base I find. After like 20 searches, I'm done. I just I don't even think I ever click 20 times. I search and I find the first base I think I can beat, and boom, done. It's over. Now, I'm go barching here, which is a new strategy I'm doing. As you can probably guess, go barching is goblins, archers, and barbarians. Now, the real reason you do this raid is that the number one thing on the outside of a base is, of course, resources. So goblins do double damage, and they're already stronger than archers and barbs at attacking normally. So they do like three to four times the attack of a of an archer or a barbarian when they attack resources. So it's super important when you're taking those out. It takes them out a lot faster. allows your archers to concentrate on other things that are more important, like defenses. And yeah, overall, it's been working really well for me. So 50 goblets, 40 barbarians, the rest archers. Really simple. Try it out, guys. Let me know how you think it works for you. So many of you were asking me to do no heroes, no spells. I will do in the future, as I first said, and I will make a series out of it when I'm lower level. But in Masters 2, it's really hard to do. And guys, I didn't use spells here. I only use my heroes for two percentage points. That's it. So I think it was pretty much success. Very high level max out base, pretty much. And I did get nine trophies. So solid win. I hope you did enjoy that. Comment below if you like this strategy. Definitely try it out yourself, though, as I said. And let's show a troll video. One of the guys in my clan actually showed this as a joke. It was a defense he had, and he just got completely, the guy in the offense got completely owned. He used hogs, and it ended really badly. So check that out. Watch here. See what happens right now. As you know, hogs have been nerfed heavily. So they all died with that one big bomb, which is really sad. To, I don't ever want to use them again now. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you guys soon. Definitely slap a like on this thing. Subscribe. Talk to you later.